What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a quick video today we're going to be talking about unreleased legends. A lot of people asking me about what legends are yet to be released that are up in the database and we're going to have a look at them in a little bit more detail especially some of the big ones but we do know that eFootball v4.0 is going to be just right around the corner. You've got this special login bonus presence here where you can get a chance to get Carlos, Cafu, Stoichkov, Danielson and Van der Vaart. Now some people have been very lucky, including myself. I've got two of these players. I've got Danielson and Stoichkov on my free-to-play account in four spins. I got them in their, the second and the third spin, I think, um, kind of back-to-back. -back. I also know people that have not got any, but you will get 17 spins at this. But also, there's a lot of new unreleased legends that I think they're going to hold until eFootball 2025. Now, we're going to go into this in a little bit more detail here in a second, but I do want to show you these here, right? So, first and foremost, shout out to CTE Football over on Twitter for this graphic. I have actually blown this graphic up a little bit better here. We do also know as well, by the time I put out this video, that this will be the pack that was out on Monday the 2nd of September. So, they're not included in the unreleased because they'll have been released. Raul Inzaghi and Stoichkovic. And of course, we do have this legend slideshow that I'm going to go through here, right? So these are all the unreleased legends that are up in the database. Now, I'm going to talk about what the difference is between up in the database, between cards that have been released, and also between cards that are up in the database for a while but have not been released yet, right? And we're going to show you a couple of examples here in a second, right? But I think the big thing with this is that I, I, I do feel, right, as if Konami are going to hold back these cards, I think, until launch week. And what I could see happening is... While they might release this pack of Rijkaard, Hollett and Van Basten and the likes of them, you know, or Lizar Azu and Rummy are still in the database that have not been released. While they might release those in a pack, right, in a pack of three, I think what they might do is they might tie them in to like some sort of promotion where these are kind of like highlight players or could they be part of the new box that we get for the contract renewal system, right? So for anyone that doesn't know about the contract renewal system or anything like that, obviously that is going to be the new contract situation that they have here, right? And I'm not going to spend too long talking about this, but essentially what they're going to be doing is that because they're getting rid of the player contracts, right? You are going to be getting new players with this. So you get a spin, you'll get a free spin for every six day contract that you have or for, or for a 60 day contract that you have. Sorry, I've done a full video on this. So basically, if you have a full, like if you have 60 contracts and you can check these by going into a player, going down to their player actions and going to contract renewal, you can see in the top right hand of the screen there that I have got 60 day contracts and I've got five of those and I've got 248 10 day contracts, right? So for every six 10 day contracts you have, right? So basically divide the number of that you have. So in my case, it would be dividing 248 by six. That's how many spins that I'm going to get. And then add that to the 60 day contracts, which is going to be five spins with my 60 day contracts, right? So they're going to be doing away with all these contract situations. So any of these players that you have that you would have got basically a long time ago that are out of contract, such as all of these starting players that I had, they will no longer need a contract. And what they're doing is they're giving you free spins at a brand new box that has yet to be released. They could be thrown into this. While I do think that like some of the unreleased ones will be thrown into that for eFootball 25, uh, I think that these players are definitely going to be kind of still the older school legends. I think we're going to get new style cards in eFootball 25. Um, you know, and I think that we'll be able to train them in different ways. I think we'll be able to grind them in different ways. I think we'll be able to build them up in different ways. Um, Matarazzi has been in the database for quite a while, as well as this Cordoba card as well. And you can see kind of a pattern that there's like three per team, like Rijkaard, Hollett, and Van Basten. Now, when you actually go to the database itself, right, if we go over to the database here, you can see that these cards do not actually have ratings, right? So you can see here that Xavi, he doesn't have an overall, he's no player levels, he's no skill. Like, literally, the card is just a... It's kind of like a placeholder card, basically, right? Because Konami have changed how they actually upload the assets. They upload the actual graphics and the pictures of the players, but they don't add the stats and the skills and the boosters and how many levels they have until the actual live update or the server uh, update every Monday and every Thursday. Now, they do update the players that are coming on Mondays on the Thursday. So they do the update, which is a four-day cycle. So every player that's added and it's going to be there on a Monday is going to be there on the Thursday. But the Thursday players, you don't know until the Thursday morning what level they're going to be, right? So for any of these players that you see here, they just have placeholder assets at the moment. They have their card, but they don't have any skills. And they're just a generic rated card with one level. So that's why I think with these legends here, I do think that they will release them in kind of like, 
scattered. I don't think that they'll release them in a super pack. I would be very, very, very surprised if they throw these new legends into the box where we're going to be getting the free contracts. I think that we're probably going to get different cards um, that we'll be able to see like this. And I've talked about this before. If you go in, I think we'll be getting a selection of different cards, such as if you go into my league here, these are some of the cards that we might be getting in the boxes as well. You see the way that Konami have continuously updated these loan players, and it can range from anyone from Adriano to Lampard to Mignan, Big Time to Showtime to Bernardo Silva to Raul de Thomas. All of these cards are classed as highlight cards, but the legends are classed as a different thing, right? If you go into the legends here, they're classed as epics. So the epics and the legends and the boosters are all different types of cards, right? So I think that we'll get a mixture of all of these um, older cards as well to kind of like get the, get the most look out of it. Now, the only thing with the player of the weeks, they're not included in the contract one because they're trending. So let me know what you guys think. Look, they're all the unreleased. As I said already, you can cycle through them there at the end of the video. I'll keep this video short and sweet. That's my thoughts on it. As I said, I do think that these will work in as towards new builds, new cards, new kind of boosters. Um, but let's see what happens. And obviously, I do think Konami are going to add new legends as well, like brand new cards that are not even here yet. So let me know what you guys think. They are the ones that have been unreleased. They're not out yet. They are up in the database for the last couple of weeks. But let me know what you guys think. I mean, Puyol for me would definitely be the pick. I already have Rummy, but I'd love a new Puyol card. I have right card. I have Hullet. I do think that Puyol would be really good. I think Mertesacker would be good. Tony Adams would be good. They'd be nice and, you know, different types of cards. But let me know what you guys think. I will talk to you in a little bit. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.